Hey guys, today I'm building a concrete planter. I hope you guys follow along this build. It came out really cool. I used some different types of materials in, in my concrete to, to really get a neat look at the end. So this is the inside of my form. I like to use tape around certain edges so the concrete doesn't soak in and make sharp edges around inside my form. I use two by sixes to make the insert, to make the space inside of the, the form. And this is actually the bottom. I'm just covering up the bottom so this will eventually be flipped over and this will go inside the inside my form. I'm just adding a little oil here. This will it's probably not necessary, but this will help the concrete not stick to the wood. I'm also going to add a little bit of the oil to my to the inside of my form. Now I'm just kind of test fitting my form, making and I'm going to make some lines here on my board just to make sure that it, it's nice and straight. So most of this material is, is just high strength concrete. It has the, the smaller pebbles in it and it, it worked really good. And here in a minute I'm going to be adding uh, some lava rock and then I had some leftover white cement from a previous project and I'm just going to add that in there just to make it just for some neat effects. I really do like the white concrete. Um, I wish I had a little bit more of that left over, but it, what, what I did have, it, it did make a nice effect. So I try to take extra care in this part because the feet of the, of the form are the trickiest. I just want to make sure I don't have any voids in there. So I like to just add a little bit and then tamp it down. And, but not tamp it down too much where I'm going to form a, an independent layer. Because when I keep adding concrete, I want it to really bond to it to each other. I don't want to tamp it and too much and flatten it and compress it too much. So I do. Try, I just smooth it out a little bit, then I keep adding concrete. I want to. I want about two inches, or an inch and a half, two inches for the bottom. And I'm going to set my insert in there, and then I'm just going to kind of smush it and squeeze out around the edges. Now I'm going to start filling in the sides. I try to add a little bit on each side of the form to help just help keep the the form uh, even and keep it nice and straight As I go, I like to smooth it out, make sure it gets down in the, in the corners. The trowel worked really well. It was, it's nice to do a little bit at a time and make, and you can actually use the trowel to go in there and, 
and kind of level out everything. I'm just adding the white cement to the very top. I'm just, this is just for looks. I wanted something. I wanted the top of the, the planter to have a neat effect visually. It, this uh, white cement just looks really neat when it's all set up, and I just had just enough to add to the top. And I'm just tapping on the sides a little bit to make sure, just to help get any air bubbles out of there. There's some other things that you can do, but really for this type of project, air bubbles aren't the real big concern. Because I actually like to have little voids to make the concrete look like kind of ancient looking, like it's been, it's an old style of concrete. And here I'm just adding in the leaves. Uh, I had some grape leaves that I took off my vine and uh, to make just little prints in my concrete. Sorry guys, I, I think I lost the footage of me taking off the outside of the form. So here I'm showing the inside after I took everything apart. What happens here is, is the inside of the form gets stuck. It, everything gets real full of moisture and everything swells. The concrete swells and the board swell. And it, it kind of makes a, a difficult situation to get to get the inside of your form out. Using these uh, two by sixes was, it's good because they're durable for making forms, but on the other hand, they they have a lot of voids in them and they, they tend to swell. So this may not be the best technique for a form because I kind of, I kind of ruined my uh, two by sixes. So what I had to do this time was, was do anything I could to remove these boards. And so I ended up drilling and cutting and, and just chiseling the boards and it was pretty uh, labor intensive to get the form removed. And I came to the conclusion that it won't hurt anything to leave that the bottom pieces of the form in there. Because generally on these big planters, some of the space in the bottom is generally just fill material with mulch or something like that or gravel. So. The longer these boards will dry out, the, the easier they are to take out. But I, I let this form sit about three days before I started taking it apart. And I was, on this part, I tried to be very careful. I had, when I built the, a planter before, I had this issue where I cracked one of my feet. So this time I was just gonna take my time and be extra careful. And you can see that that board fits in there so tight is because it's full of water and the concrete swells also. So I, I first tried chiseling and hammering, it didn't work too well. So you'll see here in a minute that I end up taking my uh, circular saw and making some cuts into it to relieve some of the stress in the, from the swelling. And so I, right, but right now I'm just trying to drill into it and trying to make this work. It worked a little bit drilling, but it, it really was kind of a, just not a good technique to remove this, this material. took extra care to make sure the depth of my blade didn't contact the concrete because that would ruin my blade for sure so here I'm just I'm still chiseling um, I'm really this is it was very labor intensive just trying to get this out of there it's kind of just a, a very uh, long process getting these boards out here we go 
I should have done this from the beginning. It worked so much easier just making some relief cuts. But these, that's what these projects are all about, is just trying them, learning. And the next ones are, are always easier than the first time, so. Once I made those relief cuts, the boards were real easy to, to break loose. Right now I'm just drilling a small hole in the bottom of the planter. The center of my planter was kind of higher than the edges, so that's why I drilled it to the side. When I pushed my form down in, the center of it kind of raised up a little bit. The concrete pushed my the bottom of my form up a little bit, so here I'm just removing some of the leaves and now I'm now I'm smoothing out some sharp edges with a brick. I found that just getting a stone or a brick or something and and going around the edges works great just to smooth it out. And when these when these things dry out, they just look better and better. And I'm right here, I'm just kind of showing where the concrete swole, kind of swole up around the two by sixes. And you can see those in the bottom, they are not gonna come out very easy and unless they have a lot of time to dry. So we're looking at two bags of concrete that's about 160 pounds. So this thing was like uh, very, uh, very heavy. And I had to just be real careful not to, to damage the feet of the of the planer moving it around. So, but man, it sure does look neat when it's done. I'm just adding a little a lava rock. I put a, a plumeria down in there, and I think it's just going to look awesome. I'm doing just a little bit of lava rock around the edges. And you have the white concrete with the red lava rock. And I'm going to add some uh, pea gravel to the inside of the pot. And these colors, they all just go together so good. With the, the plumeria looks great and uh, the lava rock is just really cool looking in there. Hey guys, well thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This project was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of work. It was uh, working with concrete is always challenging because of the labor that goes into it. But these, these concrete pots, they last forever. If you take care of them, if you don't, um, if you don't have to move them around too much because they're very heavy to move. But man, they, they look so cool when they're done. And you can always do stuff to them. You can always add things to it to make them look look interesting you can um, do all kinds of stuff be it's just kind of a creative platform a canvas to work with so like once again guys thanks for watching